Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm kicking off my week three previews and analysis with the video for the Thursday night game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. Of course, this is Andy Reid's return home to Philadelphia, where he was a very successful head coach uh, for over a decade for the Eagles, to say the least. And, uh, you know, the Chiefs come in with a record of 2-0 uh, off of two uh you know, one win versus a team they probably should have beat in Jacksonville, and one game which was really a toss-up against the Cowboys, which they pulled out late. And uh, you know, you're beginning to see uh, sort of the strategy that Andy Reid is employing uh, in Kansas City. He knows he has some talent on the defensive side of the ball. That defensive line, led by Tamba Ali and Don Terry Poe, now showing signs. You have Derek Johnson and uh, Justin Houston at that second level linebacker, and the secondary, led by Eric Berry, doing a very good job in the first. First two weeks, only let up eight, letting up 18 points total the first two weeks of the season here. And, um, you know, that you combine that defense with an offense that just uh, methodically drives the ball down the field, doesn't take many chances, but doesn't turn the ball over. And right now that's been enough to win the first two games, um, certainly uh, against the Cowboys in Week 2, and the lowly Jacksonville Jaguars uh, in Week 1. I think what you'll see Andy Reid do this week, though, is sort of unleash a little bit more out of his uh, so-called bag of tricks here. I don't think he can just sit back and hope to score you know, between 17 and 24 points and win this game. This Eagles offense will, at the very least, every week put up points, but I think the Eagles can be had, uh, that defense can be had. You can sustain long drives, certainly, um, against that uh, defense that was proven last week by Phillip Rivers and the gang. So I look for Reed to take that strategy, maybe throw the ball down the field a little bit more, but still, uh, focus on the time of possession, which the, the Chargers you know, crushed the Eagles. 40 to 19 uh, last week uh, in time of possession. So I like that, uh, you know, you get into the, the age old argument. What side is it better to be on? Is it better for Andy Reid to know his players or for Andy Reid's former players to know his system? Uh, you know, coach going up against his old team. We'll see how that pans out. As far from an Eagles standpoint, look, the Eagles, uh, it's pretty clear that. Um, even if they uh, shoot themselves in the foot like they did uh, on offense a little bit on Sunday against the Chargers, uh, they're still going to put up points. And you saw Michael Vick have a very prolific day passing the ball, the most yards he's ever thrown for in his career. They lose the game uh, primarily because that defense couldn't get off the field. And uh, that defense is going to be a sore spot for the Eagles all year as they transition to a new scheme of defense and as they don't really have um, a lot of talent on defense. Let's be real about it. They're they're getting a lot out of their big three on offense right now, and Vic, McCoy, and Jackson. And as long as they stay healthy, which they will be for this game, they're going to put up points. Can that defense, though, provide somewhat of a buffer and somewhat of a uh, resistance to offenses that can somewhat move the ball? You know, I don't consider San Diego to be a prolific offense, but they were really able to move the ball uh, whenever they wanted to uh, against that Eagles defense. And, uh, you know, in that 33 to 30 win, and that side of the ball concerns me right now because I think the Chiefs have the talent on offense to simply keep the ball away from the Eagles with how bad that defense is playing. I expect this to be a little bit higher scoring uh, game than people think. Um, I think, you know, both teams will at least be uh, in the mid 20s. But I just don't like that Eagles defense. That Eagles defense scares the hell out of me. I think that, you know, when it comes down to it, can they get a stop? Can they even slow a team down? You know, I think that's most like the Saints last year. Can they slow a team down so their offense uh, can do their thing? I don't know that answer at this point. And um, I know the Chiefs aren't going to shoot themselves in the foot and turn the ball over. So I look at the weakest unit in this game by far being that Eagles defense. So I like Kansas City plus three on the road in Philadelphia um, to beat the Eagles in Andy Reid's homecoming, which is also the night that Donovan McNabb is getting his jersey retired. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at S News Analysis. Uh, we'll see. You know, yet another defense, a good defense this time. By far the best defense the Eagles have played. Going up against that Chip Kelly offense should be fun to watch. But again, in the end, I think it's the Eagles defense that loses it for them. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Be sure to subscribe, guys. I preview every game every week. I recap every game every week. And I do my weekly power rankings, too. So be sure to check those out. And if you subscribe, they get uploaded to your feed. Thanks a lot for listening, and have a great night.